beautiful. I mean, yeah. I feel like Hicks is probably more conscious. Yeah. So he didn't do anything to women, but you know, like f friends who worked with him would say, like, "Hey, we're going out. You want to come out? No, I'm going to go back and jerk off." Like, yeah, just he was just into watching porn and beating off all the time. <laughs> That's what you know. It's funny. I was talking <laughs> about because yeah, we both know Louis since. You've known him since 1989, probably. I don't. I never knew. But him are very you well. around him? I I would see him like once a year, twice yeah. a year, somewhere, and say hi. Um, I know you way better than I know him. Yeah. Uh, the so, I remember when I moved to New York in '91 and was in the comedy club scene in '92, '93, '94 in New York. I was. I couldn't believe the amount of jerking off that was going on. <laughs> I just remember going like, why is everyone constantly talking about, like, what the fuck is, it's so, I remember like going to Louie's apartment for, to shoot uh, movies, like his shorts that he used to make, I would like PA on them. And, uh, and it always smelled gross. <laughs> like, uh, Jay Moore was constantly... <clears throat> Jay Moore, we, me and I were roommates for a bit. He jerked off on one of my socks. Like, just uh, like, what do you... Like, why is everyone jerking off all the time? Uh, just like, what is the... What the fuck is happening? That's rape. Yeah, no, you know what's funny is I was wondering, like... Today? Yeah. I yeah. was thinking about the thing, the Jay thing. Again, because I'm, I'm of the mind that, like... Again... Louis was more gross than than uh, malicious and disgust, uh, malicious and criminal. I was gross. That what he did, I think, was just gross. It was gross it was... if he did it to a man. It takes on more ominous tones when he's doing it to women. Completely agree. Yeah. Uh, it's. I mean, I'm not. I don't. But think it's not a crime, like, right? No, it's, no, no, no. I don't think so. Uh -oh. I, don't, I think it's just sad. It's nothing like yeah. Cosby. It's just pathetic. It's weird. And you know, I had some conversations with um, uh, Eliza Schlesinger, mm -hmm. and she was saying that men would say things to her when she first started out because she wasn't very good. You know, she just started out. Yeah. And these guys were like established guys, and they would treat her as if like you're below me, and you're always going to be below me, mm -hmm. and I can get away with saying whatever I want to you because mm -hmm. you're less than me. Yeah. And she goes, and I kind of feel like that's probably why he did that to those girls. Like he was above them, mm -hmm. they were below him, and it was not just, hey, I want to jerk off in front of you. It's like, you have to watch me jerk off because I'm above you. You know what's the thing you said earlier was relevant, which is getting hard, right? From that, how can you? Yeah, that's right. the thing that's like. But I, I, but then it's also like you don't pick your kinks and all that shit. Yeah, like, like it, it just falls thing. on you. Yeah, yeah. You, don't, you don't pick that. Yeah, that's even a direct correlation. Most kinks are just like I don't know. I right. fucking like, yeah, uh, being hung off the roof or what? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hang my feet. Uh, but I, yeah, that's the thing of like the the getting hard thing, but also uh, yeah, fuck I, the whole thing. It is sad. It's fucked up. But I actually think he'll be he'll be in a year and a half. He'll be back. You think and so? Stronger than ever. Yeah, because now he's got something to talk about. For yeah, yeah it's gonna for be sure. it's gonna be a lot of dudes at the show. It's gonna be ninety percent dudes. But Ooh. I've asked the crowd. I've asked probably five or six different crowds. If Louis was doing the show after this, would you go? And 70% of the people applaud. Yeah. They would want to see what the fuck he has to say. Yeah. Yes. I think he should go on stage. The first words out of his mouth should be, well, I asked. I there's I, did ask. I believe light should just come up and he's jerking off button it. <laughs> <laughs> Better. <laughs> <That's> better. <laughs> yeah, it's a great idea. And then it just like lights down. And just like Yeah. I think what he did was freaky and weird, but I think Louis I don't think Louis's a monster. I don't, I don't know him very well, but I don't I don't think he's a bad person. He's always been friendly to me. He's not a bad person. No. Like I, I, I he's not. Like he's not a bad he's not he's also again, I don't want to be like I, defending a sex criminal. If it's a power thing, he the more powerful he got, the less he did it. Yeah, that's the weird thing, right? It's like I think he realized that what he did was fucked up, and like he had these crazy urges, and he did it. And then as time went on, he stopped doing it, and he's like, "I am a prisoner to some shit that I, I used know. to do." And if he had just got in front of it, I feel like if he had just re a if he had just talked about it, yeah, in, in a he, Letterman talked about fucking his staff on the air, yeah. And no one cared. Well, Letterman just went straight 
You mean a hundred percent confessional? Yeah, I mean, which I said, think Louis could have done. I uh, think he just mishandled it. Liked having sex with the people that work with him. <laughs> and by the and way, I'm being blackmailed. I talked to Mulaney about this yesterday. He goes, "Have you watched it? He's getting laughs the whole time." Yeah, yeah, like it's the true. whole time, the whole getting time. big laughs. He was brilliant. Yeah, I miss him. But again, and the other thing, it's like the irony of like Netflix didn't pull his show. Yeah, but he was only having sex with people. But here's the thing: having sex with people back then. But that's that you now an abuse with, of power, yes, though. That's now in, it is. That's that's consider. Again, we're talking about four years ago. That's what, crazy. You know what I mean? It feels well, what like what's changed? What's changed? Is it just everyone? I think the Harvey Weinstein thing was so fucking gross, and he's yeah. such a monster yeah. that everybody's like complete. I think there's this ripple effect. And that this, we're, we're like way beyond normal reactions for things. Like Matt Lauer. Yeah. I'm, tr I'm still trying to figure out what Matt Lauer did that got him fired. I um, think he had sex with someone on staff. Yeah. But, I think he had sex with someone on staff that probably felt like she couldn't stop. Mm. That's, that, would be the, that would be the sort of rub. I don't know. You see, I don't. I don't want a victim shame, right? You don't yeah. know. You don't know what really happened. I don't know his version. I don't even know her version. I just know the third hand version. You know, like I read one that he had sex with some girl until she blacked out. I'm like, damn, Matt Lauer likes to fuck. Yeah, like he's throwing in his dick. office. These yeah. girls are. Th and then the other thing was that he had a button at his desk where he could lock the door. That Apparently to me is le yeah. That to me is less a a rape trap than than it is just like a fucking. I don't want to have to get up and go. Yeah. My, like you, when you're the but offices of Thirty Rock of aren't that big, and uh, that. you're like you know. Yeah. It, it's probably I don't want to walk forty feet right every time I need to shut the door. Well, it's also he's writing right. When you write, you don't want to be disturbed. You just like it's rather just let me just lock this yeah. fucking door, and lock into this thing. I don't even think he was writing. I think it's just like a convenience thing maybe um but there was no um the only abuse is that he was having sex with someone who was above uh, below him mm -hmm. right there wasn't like he you know he didn't chase him down like harvey did or you know offer them a gig or another friend of mine said something interesting which he said uh until dating people you work with is illegal this is never gonna stop yeah whitney's got a great joke about that that she's doing right now about working in an office, you know, because she works yeah. on Roseanne now. Yeah, it's uh, it's their world, you know. It's like yeah, when men and women are it's in becomes an your entire together. ecosystem. Yeah. yeah, and you can't like where else are you gonna meet people?